So I went with some Deechworks 550cc injectors. Uh, these are a little overkill as far as B20 VTEC. Uh, I just wanted to kind of uh, get these just in case, which I'm probably going to go ahead and go turbo on this thing in a minute, or at least just throw a couple, you know, nothing crazy, just a few pounds of boost at it just to add a little bit more to this car um, sometime next year. So that will get me there with this. Hopefully these NGK plugs are real. I bought them on Amazon. Gotta watch out. Amazon's been selling a lot of fake stuff. They look real. Yeah, they feel real. They look real. I needed to order this uh, jumper harness. The distributor is 10 pins and the CRV wiring is eight. So I've been waiting for this freaking harness here. Let's crank this thing up, see. What it do? Hey. All right, it's running. A little bit of an exhaust leak. I need to put some coolant in it. Woohoo! Well, that was a little nerve wracking. It sounded a little funny, but it sounds pretty good now. Let it warm up, bleed it. I'll try to adjust the timing in a little bit. Woo wee, she's running. Definitely needs to be tuned. Running super rich, you can totally smell it. Uh, looks like we are barely idling. AEM air fuel, all right. So here is the AFR gauge and sensor and Here's a little trick, not like a trick, but here's, a, here's what I'm gonna do, and this might be helpful for some CRV guys, is you can go on eBay and buy a aftermarket cat, and it actually has an extra bung in it. Okay, so we can go ahead and hook up uh, the air fuel sensor right into the extra bung. Here's the factory one, there's just one right here, which is this one right here, but it gives you one right here before the cat so you can get an accurate reading. As far as the computer goes, looking at a P28 VTEC computer, and using the Motes for tuning, uh, Motes Ostrich 2.0. I don't know if they still sell this or not, but Autometer makes a gauge pot for the CRV. Okay, gonna be using Honda Tuning Suite to go ahead and start building me a base map. All right, so I'm gonna start building a base map off of a Integra Type R, I think I'm gonna go with that. Boom. And gonna have to just go ahead right from the get-go before I even start this thing up. Let's just go ahead and just increase the fuel by at least 10%. Okay, probably gonna have to do more than that. And then we'll start this guy up and see what it does. Okay, now I got the data logger going too. We'll go ahead and connect. Okay, something's up. Probably have to unplug it and plug it back in a couple times. This Hunting Tuning Suite likes to be a bitch. All right, so I got a little bit of the uh, drivability done and started working on some of the full throttle pulls. Hopefully we don't blow it up right now. All right, did a little bit of an adjustment. Still not good enough. Let's see what we got. Run through first and second real quick.
accomplished. <laughs> one for one. Alright. Now what? I'm starting to have doubts now. I don't know. I, I, I thought it was faster. I mean, it is faster. It's faster than what it was before, but now it's like. But it's not fast. It's you know? not. Oh, too fast. Okay, so the car seems to be falling out of VTEC. Um, once you get high on the RPMs, um, I have a feeling that the car is not building enough oil pressure um, at that high RPM. It's just, you know, it's a B20 stock. Holy shit. Um, how come I can't open it? Stock oil pump, so maybe you just can't handle the RPMs. What I'm gonna try first. I'm gonna pull off the VTEC solenoid and see if there's any trash in the screen. Um, this head was sitting around in a toolbox for a couple of years and um, I might've had some dirt and stuff in it where I couldn't clean it out. So um, we'll see what we got in there. And if that comes out pretty clean, there was a port on the front of the head down here, down there, that I can hook up an oil pressure gauge up to it and go drive it around and see what kind of oil pressure we're making. I think we need at least 60 PSI when we start getting those high RPMs to keep VTEC locked in. And so there's a little bit of trash in the screen, but not enough, I don't think, to uh, cause my VTEC issue. I'll go ahead and clean that out. I don't know. Look, this is an aftermarket VTEC solenoid. And uh, normally they have a filter in there, and this one doesn't. <laughs> okay, well that solves that. Looks like going to have to hook up the oil pressure gauge up to this guy and go for a couple test drives. So there's a little port back down here on the front of the head. And you can see it's like a little oil pan, a little bolt. Hopefully it's long enough to be able to run up the windshield. These can be a pain in the ass to hook up, dude, let me tell you. And the gauge is actually really hard to read. All right, so I'm going to super overexpose the gauge. So hopefully this comes out right, but check it out. So it kicks in, the gauge will show you. So the gauge will show you PSI when I run into VTEC, which I'm going to have to get it up to like 56. But. But it only looks like 25 PSI from what I can tell. Let's do that one more time. Make sure I get it on camera. All right. Yeah, that's not nearly enough PSI to keep VTEC happy. All right, so that's kind of a bummer, but at least I know what's going on. So it looks like I have to buy an oil pump for this turd and to do it. So start researching uh, oil pumps. Get on that. Probably next video. Catch you guys in the next one later.